the best lead generation strategy for virtual wholesaling real estate. What is up guys, Zach in here. And in today's video, I wanna give you the lead generation strategies. I really wanna show you what all of them are for virtual wholesaling real estate and really show you the best one that you need to be using and why for the most success possible in your virtual wholesaling business. And I've done over a thousand real estate wholesaling deals. And I can tell you in my long history of doing virtual wholesaling deals, really there's only one king or queen uh, really, when it comes to the lead generation strategies out here, guys, there's SMS text blasting, there's Facebook ads, there's SEO, there's pay-per-click, uh, there's probably email blasting gurus giving you stuff, there's virtual drawing for dollars, there's direct mail, there's JVing, there's networking, there's everything out there. But really, when, when you look at all these strategies out here, there's only one king of the castle here, and this is cold calling, guys. Cold calling, hands down, if you're doing virtual wholesaling real estate, is going to be the best one. And this is best for all factors, right? Like if you're starting out, you have $0 in wholesaling real estate, especially for virtual wholesaling, cold calling is gonna be the best one. Like hands down, you can't beat it. There is not a better strategy out here. There's not a better option out here in your virtual wholesaling business. And then really, when you look at all the other ones, you stack up the ROI, you stack up everything. And really, when you're scaling up an operation, you're going from 10K a month to 100K a month, Cold calling takes the crown there, guys. I'm gonna show you exactly why today you must cold call if you wanna be successful in your virtual wholesaling operations and why if you're gonna scale an operation, why cold calling is actually gonna be the best one out here, guys. I know there's gonna be a lot of gurus out here, guys. I want you to ask one question. Then we're gonna get into why cold calling is the best lead generation strategy, but I want you to ask yourself one question. If somebody's arguing right now in the comments or you hear a guru or an ad out here why cold calling sucks or it's the worst thing ever, you gotta ask yourself this one question. Does this guru or does this person stand a profit from me if they can convince me cold calling is not the best thing? Once you ask yourself that question and once you look at everything, a lot of things change. And this is when you really look at the whole wholesaling real estate industry, things get a little shocker, right? Because every time I make a video like this, I always get one guy or gal out here saying, no, pay-per-click is the best thing in the world. Oh, you don't know what you're talking about, Zach. You click on the profile and they have a pay-per-click ad service for you for $4,000 a month and I'm gonna do everything for you, right? It's the funniest thing in the entire world, right? And every single person that tries to argue with me against this, always is trying to make money off of you somehow. And I'm sorry to say it. It's the honest truth of virtual wholesaling, guys. I'm not staying to make any money off of you by saying this, but cold calling is going to be hands down the best top way to make money in virtual wholesaling to generate as many leads as possible. And let me break this down. So before we get into it, do me a big favor. Make sure you smash the like button and subscribe and let's break this down. So the first thing why I absolutely love cold calling, why is hands down the best lead generation strategy out here is going to be it's the quickest fastest, most efficient way to get a lead right now. And let me explain this really quick, guys. Like I, I get my phone out here. I open it up. I start dialing. I start dialing, dialing, dialing. Boom. Like I can get in front of a lead. I can get a deal. I'm ready to go, guys. Guys, you see every single pretty much Tuesday when I do my live cold callings on this channel, guys, I talk to actual motivated sellers. Maybe I'll get a deal done. Maybe I'll get two deals. Maybe I'll get some contracts done. Maybe I'll get someone to give me a price commitment, right? But like I can get on a live on you guys, click the spinner wheel, spin around and just start calling and getting in front of people that actually want to sell their property. Like I can get it done super duper quick. It's cheap. It literally, it's free. I just got my phone and I'm dialing. And so it's the quickest way to get the deals guys. Like there's no way around it. That's going to be the most efficient, fastest way. No other lead generation strategy works just efficiently and fast like that guys. Through SMS text splicing, usually, you know, I got to go buy the skip tracing, which in cold calling, if you're going to buy skip tracing, you do have to do that. You have to text them. You have to get the response back. Then you got to go through all this, guys. It costs a lot of money comparatively. And this is the next part here is like cold calling. When you really look at the ROI, your return on investment on this is going to be hands down the cheapest one too. And, and what I mean by this, it's going to be the cheapest way for you to get money and for you to get your leads. Like if you really look at the cost per lead when it comes to all these things, I know some people saying, oh, the cost per lead for the average wholesaler, is $3, guys, is $3,000. Guys, $3,000 for cold calling is an insane amount of money, right? Because the best ROI hands down I have found is going to be cold calling guys. And especially if you're doing a larger operation, you have VAs, you have leads come in and you got qualified leads. Cold calling is going to be the best one. The biggest problem I do see with wholesalers when it comes to cold calling, they're cold calling the wrong list. But if you're using the list that I teach you guys at freewholesaling.com, you would literally have no problem at all. Freewholesaling.com is hands down the greatest wholesaling real estate mentorship in the world. Guys, it costs $0. Okay. Like I literally give it all absolutely for free. Like anyone can do it. And 
The reason why I love cold calling, why it's so cheap is because it's so cheap because it's free. You're just going on the phone. You're having a conversation with their seller and it's really, really good. It's really cheap. Anyone can do it. And that's why I love it so much because it really helps the common man and woman start going out here and start wholesaling real estate. Now, there is obviously downsides to it being so cheap, right? Because since it's cheap, sometimes it's time intensive if you're going to do it yourself. Like I totally get that. And that becomes an issue. But I'm saying for the most, for, for the wide array, like 85, 90% of the wholesalers coming out here, cold calling is going to be your best option. There are better options out here if you got a full-time job and you got a ton of money, right? And you just want to scale up really quick, right? But for a lot of people, like even if you have a full-time job, you hire VAs to do it for you and it becomes really scalable and that really helps you a lot. The next part here, why I just preach cold calling non-stinking stop is because the more you cold call, the better skills you have when it comes to talking to a seller, guys. It is like putting the reps in. It's like going to the gym, uh, the, prefer the proverbial like gym, anecdotal gym of wholesaling real estate, where you put in the reps and you get better at talking to sellers and you get better at closing leads. This is why I preach it so much that you guys just have to be cold calling. Even if you cold call and you don't get any leads, you got better at talking to sellers. You got better at answering objections. You became a lot less nervous when it comes to actually talking to a seller and you get a lot more smoother in your presentations of buying properties. Who are you? What do you do? And just going straight up to what you want to do and just really, really presenting out here that, Hey, I buy houses cash. Are you looking to sell your property? And just having those conversations because those conversations translate. If you go into SMS text blasting, you do direct mail, you have sellers coming in guys. It just, it helps through everything. Like getting really good at cold calling will help you with everything outside of anything else. Guys, I'm telling you guys, it works so, so well, the next part here, which I really, really love too. And this might not help you with your skills more or less. Cold calling is hands down still the most scalable thing out here. Okay. Like straight up, if I want to scale, it's insane because really what you want to do when you're scaling up an operation is getting hold of your message to as many people as possible, homeowners that you're looking to buy real estate and finding people that are interested in cash offers on the property. I love SMS tax blasting, but on an ROI scalability perspective, hands down cold calling is still going to be the best one because really with these lists, you can reuse them a lot. It doesn't cost you per text. You don't have to deal with spinner tokens or deliverability rates. Like cold calling is just there, right? And if you use a dialer like zackdialer.com, you're staying to get a lot of dialing out here. You can really kind of hack the algorithm too much, pretty much on the carriers where it's kind of hard to do all the SMS text blasting and it works really well. So if you want to scale up and have a VA do it for you, it's really easy. And the reason why the scalability works so stinking well is because it's simple. And this comes back to my next point here is just cold calling is super stupid simple. And what do I mean by this? Like I have the simplest script out here for my cold calling that makes me millions of dollars every single year in wholesaling real estate. And that's, Hey, are you the owner of the property? And are you interested in selling the property? Like if you find someone that's interested in selling their house and wants to cash off on their property, then you get in the motivation condition, time frame, price, you get through all the scripts. I teach at freewholesaling.com and you just keep going from there, the entire wholesaling real estate sales process. But honestly, like you just pick up the phone, you call the sellers, you have your VAs using your simple scripts. And once they get people that are interested in selling the property, they bring it to the acquisitions people and boom, you're done. You're ready to go. And it works really simple guys. So many people get super stressed out on the wholesaling real estate process when it comes to cold calling. And there's, there's not much nuances, you know, it's really like, it's hard to screw up a cold calling list if you can get a government type list. But like if you do it wrong with your SMS, if you have the wrong like script out here, cause scripts like no one really does on SMS text, like I love SMS text blasting, but like you have to get your scripts really creative and really good. And you gotta go be one step ahead of the carriers. Now guys, full disclosure, like I use SMS text blasting. I do cold calling. I do direct mail. I do some of that SEO stuff, not too much, right? Do a lot of drying for dollars, some virtual drying for like, I pretty much do all of the marketing strategies because I'm trying to do as many deals as possible. But like, when I really look at it, what's the best one for people out here, it's still going to be cold calling. And then the last but not least, th this is the thing I think that's the least talked about in virtual wholesaling real estate. Uh, the gurus out here that love demonizing cold calling because they have their special course that teaches something outside of uh, cold calling because th they, they don't like it, right? But like, if there is one marketing strategy out here, one marketing channel, there's actually technically two. Okay. There's a, there's technically two. There's only in wholesaling real estate and virtual wholesaling real estate. There's only two marketing strategies and lead generation strategies that the government actually approves on. Like they're not making laws banning this and it's never going to happen. Right. And these are the two ones, which is cold calling and then direct mail. 
The coolest part about cold calling is they're never going to outlaw the strategy of calling somebody cold within a certain time frame if you're following the laws that they have on how to actually telemarket to a point. You legally can cold call these people. And why is it pretty much legal? Because your local congressman and woman, they do. This is a crazy statistic, guys. It's insane, but this is absolutely true. Most of your senators and your local Congress people that are up in uh, Washington, D.C., they spend hours every single day in their political committee uh, office. What I mean. So if I'm a Republican, pretty much if I'm in Congress, I'm spending two, three, four hours a week at the, at the RNC headquarters cold calling potential donors. And if I'm a Democrat, I'm in the DNC cold calling in their little area and cold calling potential donors. It's crazy, but your politicians are actually cold calling. So they can't make a law against cold calling. So they're actually okay with it. There's so many mom and pop businesses. There's so many like big businesses and banks and mortgage companies and just really big things that are like trillion dollar corporations and industries that live and breathe by cold calling guys. Like you guys know how Wall Street controls everything like quote unquote, it's all said there. Have you ever seen any of the Wall Street movies? Like they're all cold calling all the time. You see Wolf of Wall Street? They're all cold calling like crazy. So just understand like the cold calling industry is protected by the politicians and big business. So you're going to be fine with that. Now, the next part here is like direct mail. The dir direct mail is actually the USPS, the Postal Service makes money off them, so they're fine. The reason why I love cold calling is because the government's not going to make a law against cold calling. They might try to restrict one part of it, which the only laws they really have against cold calling is if you're calling cold calling somebody pretty much Monday through Friday, you can't call them before 8 a.m. or after 9 p.m. But pretty much from there, you're good to go. And there are laws against the DNC list and things like that, but like, Really wholesaling, more or less, from every legal scholar I can talk to. It doesn't really, it's not in the purview of that area because we're not really selling anything. We're actually offering, but I'm not going to really break that down. Read the law yourself and go from there. I'm not telling you what to do. Please seek legal advice and lawyers for anything you ever do because that is what my lawyer tells me to say. And that is what I'm telling you to say now. But just saying, you guys, like if you really look at cold calling from a big macro perspective, it is hands down the best one. You compare it to the other marketing strategies. Look at SMS text blasting. I love SMS text blasting for virtual wholesaling real estate, but cold calling is still way better because you have that advantage of getting better when you're talking to sellers. You also have that huge, massive advantage of scalability and the simplicity of it starting out for beginners absolutely for free. SMS text blasting is not absolutely for free starting out. So cold calling definitely beats the cake on that one. Direct mail is okay. You know, like we do direct mail a lot but we know how to do it the right way. And we have a ton of huge marketing budget for it because we like doing big deals. So direct mail works for us, not for everyone out here. Virtual drawing for dollars is okay. You really got the systems right. And for a lot of beginners out here, it's not gonna be the best one. And then lastly, SEO, pay-per-click Facebook ads, the return on investment on it's not there. You have to spend thousands of dollars to get a deal where in virtual wholesaling, when it comes to cold calling, you really don't have to do that. So guys, overall, when you look at all these strategies on lead generation, Cold calling takes the cake by a long shot. So I'm telling you guys, keep your script simple. Start cold calling today and just taking action. The more you cold call, the better you get. These gurus love demonizing and saying bad things about cold calling because they can't make money off of you through cold calling. There's some cold calling gurus out here, but it doesn't sound sexy. It sounds sexy. You hate cold calling. Cold calling's the worst, right? Don't you hate working out? Well, take this magic pill. It's going to fix everything, guys. You know in life that that's not the truth. Like, there's no magic pill that's going to fix everything and stop you from doing hard work that actually leads to really good results. You want to get ripped? Do the work and go after it. There's no special thing that's going to change everything, right? You have to put in the work. You have to put in the sacrifice and you'll do well. Cold calling is going to be the best thing for them. Now, there's so many other marketing strategies where you can get your first deal. But I'm telling you guys right now, like if you're doing virtual wholesaling right now, cold calling is going to be the best guys. This is Zach in signing out. Make sure you start cold calling. If you have my free real estate wholesaling course that teaches everything you know about cold calling, live cold calls, things like that. Just go to freewholesaling.com and subscribe to this channel. I do live cold calls pretty much every single Tuesday. So hop on, talk to me, see how I do it. And I'll show you everything you need to know absolutely for free. Have a blessed one guys. This is Zach in signing out.